what we're doing is exposing the really annoying and frustrating places that people have to keep their bikes at the moment at home. You know, roughly half of all Londoners live in a flat and we're in a cost of living crisis. We're in an air pollution and climate crisis. And the one thing we're asking candidates to uh, be councillors in the local elections is to supply more safe and secure bike parking on the streets for people. Yeah, you mentioned the cost of living crisis there. How likely is it, do you think, that candidates will actually really get behind this initiative? Or will this one kind of fall by the wayside when there are perhaps a lot more pressing issues for councils to deal with in terms of people's finances and how people are going to cope in the sort of weeks and months to come? Every level of government has to take action, right? And what we're doing with this campaign is shining a light on the, the sort of action that local councillors could be making. So these are the people that Londoners go to the polls um, to elect in May. And we're simply saying to them, there, there are Londoners crying out there for spaces to keep their bikes so that they use their car less. I mean, analysis has shown that there are 8 million trips in London that could actually be cycled. Two thirds of all car journeys could actually be cycled in less than 20 minutes. But people are having to keep and store their bikes. You know, if families have to keep store their bikes by the loo in their in their flat and trundle it downstairs three flights of stairs, then it's just not going to be possible to do that every day. And this is a massive burden for a family. Right now, we make it so convenient for a family to be able to use a car, park it right outside their house, and quite often it's actually cheaper than doing than having any space to park their bikes. So we're meant, we've got to flip that. We've got to make it as, as easy as convenient as possible for people to use their bikes, because otherwise people won't. You know, a lot of the time that we, we talk about, or we put a lot of the emphasis on the sticks that people have to bring in to try and discourage or reduce or ban car use on, on, on our streets. And, you know, obviously we have to do that. We have to reduce car use because we're in a climate emergency. We're getting illegal levels of air pollution. But this is a simple sort of carrot solution that councillors could be bringing in. And quite frankly, they're not doing it at the speed they should be doing it. You know, we've got more than 60,000 people on the waiting list. This isn't a stick. This isn't like actually telling people not to drive. It's simply saying, let's make it as easy as possible for you to reconsider using your car.